Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be getting this industrial craft automated. It's a bit noisy, and uh, some things have changed. So, I built a factory. Um, so, let's go ahead and call this um, our factory for now. Um, it's not that big. It's, it's a pretty decent size building. Um, if we take a look up here, you can see I even have a smokestack that I thought was pretty neat, having coming out of it. Um, all these materials are pretty easy to get. It actually allowed me to, you know, kind of use my creosote oil, which I'm I have tons of. I I have so much um, at the moment. Um, it's yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, so I went and made, I went ahead and made tons of these uh, treated wood planks. We, our house is right over here, so not too far of a walk. Um, and our uh, smeltery and everything is over there. I still have not moved the smeltery over here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to keep it over here. I don't know. I'm sure means of travel will get easier soon, so it won't be too hard to travel over there. But for now, this is going to be our little factory. Um, I would like to get a coke oven um, set up over here, so um, actually I can fit um, like four coke ovens here if I wanted to, or I could even have like uh, blast furnaces here later on whenever we get uh, like the regular blast furnaces from immersive engineering going but we're gonna go ahead and get some stuff going on here as you can see I have an extractor right here um, this is basically just making rubber for me uh, rubber balls it's actually pretty easy to make to get an extractor um, right here is the compressor uh, which we made last episode and these are actually not too hard to craft other than the, the macerator or the, the macerator whatever you want to call it um, I have basic automation set up a hopper going straight into here and a hopper hooked to the chest going out and as you can see it is actually sucking all that stuff out and it works perfect so this is how these works the, uh, this is how it works with uh, hoppers it'll input into the top and export out of the bottom of these uh, blocks so works the same with the extractor now to power it I have three generators running at the moment uh, well one right now but uh, it's kind of burning through coal really fast. Um, so this guy can actually burn up um, logs. We take a stack of logs and put it in there. It'll turn that. That's the only way to get charcoal. And this will actually start making charcoal and still produce creosote oil. But we do have, at now, it'll give us, we have 14 blocks of coal coke at the moment. Um, and I also set up these guys. So that way we have um, like kind of a visual setup going. And I think it looks kind of nice. So um, also our lava is over here, so just so we have some kind of access to it. So what I want to make right now, I know I keep saying so a lot. I really need to stop that. It's a really bad habit. Um, and also saying, uh, I say that a lot as well, um, like just now. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and, uh, and get these hooked up here. Uh, we have the electric furnace which is really nice that's how I'm getting um, some materials really fast this unfortunately the macerator is not the fastest thing need well the, the electric furnace is a little bit faster than a regular furnace but it's still still not the uh, fastest thing so we have a few things to craft I want to get some heaters made I would like to get three if I have enough materials to make three or four to run at the same time that would be great um, also, I want to go ahead and switch this, but before I can start switching stuff and move this stuff around, I need to make more bronze. And I meant to show you guys how to make bronze last episode, and I kind of left off early. So we got, we have this set up, okay? And I have crushed copper ore, and I need some tin. So we can re-crush tin to make this. So you just throw your tin in here and it works. You can also, in your smeltery, I'm pretty sure it's three copper in your smeltery and one tin. And you will get, I do, it should give you four, um, four ingots worth uh, if you do that in the smeltery. So three copper and one tin will give you four ingots worth of bronze. And same with this, when we get, say, one tin and crushed copper and you set it up kind of like so um, in the crafting grid you can kind of set this up like 
that, and you get four bronze dust. And that bronze dust does indeed turn into bronze. And it works out perfectly. So that's pretty nice. Um, I need to make quite a bit of it because this does use a bit of the bronze. Uh, and that's why I kind of wanted to keep some crushed in here before I actually started moving on. There we go. Probably need to get some more more tin in here as well. And I think we're going to also have to change... Like, I want to I want to get a wrench so I can move this compressor and the electric furnace around. I want to swap them. Because they're kind of in the wrong location. Because the compressor, I want it closer to our setup over here that we're going to have. Okay. So we have the electric furnace. We got all this stuff going on. Let me go ahead and hook this up. And we need a wrench. Let's see. We need the wrench from Industrial Craft, which is just bronze ingots. And we almost have enough. Now we have enough to make it. Awesome. So let's go ahead and get that done. Switch these guys around. It's no big deal. Um, we also need to get some more fuel in that, which is not that big of a deal. Um, you can automate these to only use so much of your resources. So like right now, if nothing's using the power right now, so it just wasted that whole piece of coal for no reason, even though nothing was running. That's one of the downsides to not automating this, doing like one coal at a time. But to be honest, we have a lot of coal right now. And soon it will be running at full speed anyway. So I don't think there's a reason to automate that at the moment. Uh, maybe on down the line it might be. Also, I wanted to check on this since we were doing that. See, as you see, you get uh, some charcoal. And uh, it's not too fast, so we can actually make more of these later if we wanted to. I Eventually, we're going to have to dump the creosote. We're going to have to trash can it because it, there's getting way too much, to be honest. Way too much. And those are set in kind of a push-pull. So from the top is where it's collecting. And it's just dropping it down uh, into the bottom and uh, filling itself up. So let's go ahead and get the rest of our things done that I was going to make. And that was a heater. So. Heater. There we go. They are an electric heater. You're going to need the electric heater for... The uh, for the uh, blast furnace, and it requires this stuff, which is pretty simple to make. Uh, it's not too hard. This guy is not too hard. Just copper plate and all that stuff. And we're gonna need some iron plates and some tin. So the good thing about having this wrench, we can go ahead and swap this now. If you don't use this. Um, the pick will more than likely break your uh, your stuff. So I would just be wary. Be careful. Don't uh, don't just try and break it with your pick without having a wrench. You could lose your stuff. Just saying. Um, and the durability does break really fast. So just letting you know that. I've already broke one of them. Uh, moving these from there to there. So uh, just keep that in mind. This guy can also, if you shift, hold down shift, and uh, click one side of uh, like blocks that can be rotated, they'll rotate. But if you do it, click twice, it will, uh, it'll break the uh, item and, and give it back to you, just like you saw. Uh, we need to take the compressor. Oops, did not mean to do that. It's so simple to do though. Uh, we need to take the compressor. And we're going to need to kind of automate it as well. I would like to to do that. Why not? Uh, let's get a hopper. There we go. We really only need one. And we can, we can add it to this chest. Uh, it's no big deal. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's just take you. Because I'm not using you at the moment. And we will hook this chest right here. And I'll just show you how simple it is to actually automate these things. So you just click on here and now it's going into that chest. Simple as that. And all you have to do is throw your stuff in here and it's going to automatically start compressing. I guess. Tin is not compress. Oh wait, we need a metal former. 
I still haven't made the metal former. Derp. <laughs> That's a, that's a derp right there. Um, I was thinking the compressor. Okay, so the compressor is actually used for compressed air. I am I am derping out. Okay, I, I still need the metal former. Which I never actually made um, the last episode. I was working on making it. That's what I need the bronze for. But I never actually made it. All right, where is our metal former? Right here. So I have the coils, I did make those. I have the electric circuit. The toolbox is what I needed. And the small storage crate, which requires the iron and these guys. And we needed two of those, two storage crates. The dense gold plate is made with the compressor. So we needed nine. And I don't think we got nine, we got five. So if we have five, we need a few of these. That's nine. Four more. So we'll just have to throw this in here and kind of wait for the compressor. Wait, is the compressor? I'm so confused now. Did it actually... Oh, that's wasted power. It just turned it into a block of gold. Yeah, that's exactly what I don't want it to do. Um, yeah, to get the metal former, we're gonna need more gold than this, I think. Because to get the gold plates, uh, the gold plates, we still have to do the hammer method because we have not got the metal former. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're actually gonna need double the amount then because that's one compressed and we still need a bit more gold so the gold is really we're going to really cut it close with the gold and if we don't have the, enough I'll have to go mining again perfect we have exactly the right amount hopefully we don't need any more gold um, but I think that's all the gold and we need four diamonds for this We're gonna need some sticks, which I do have and some logs There we go, and I think we should be able to make the metal former and I, I kind of wanted to show this on uh, On here. Let's go ahead and make the make sure these turn into the dense plates and hopefully them being like that, they will turn into the dents. Uh, we can go ahead and make a few of the other stuff though while we wait. That, I don't know if I have all the stuff. No, I don't. So, as, as like everything else, we also need to not do too many of these. I don't know exactly how many we're going to need. But at least for the casing. Oh, is it already done? Perfect. We have our dents. That's nice. And I don't know if I already have the casing. Okay, I don't. Also made a bat box too. But uh, I needed a wrench to really get it to work. And I wanted to show you guys that on screen. So the basic machine casing right here. And then we have our bronze casing. Bronze casing. Or bronze that we have uh, we've made we're gonna use that shortly oh we're missing sticks I thought I had the sticks on me I guess I thought I had them but I didn't all right back to this we need two of those and we get our actually additions manual it's pretty funny you don't actually need the actual additions manual though you can it'll open it for you automatically so that's not that big of a deal uh, well, I think we're gonna need some more wood I do believe so. So we're going to make some chests. How good is that? 64, that gets us exactly the amount we need. And we still got to worry about bronze, but... Uh, dense iron plates. Oh. Did not see that one coming. And I do believe... 
we'll have 18. Oops, one extra. Waste of materials. 18 of those, and we should be good to go. Uh, the heater, on the other hand. The electric heater. We need 10, but I really want the metal form before we start doing anything. So I just want to get the metal former made real quick and then I'll show you guys how to automate everything. All right, so I'm back after a really long wait. A lot of materials I had to go through. Um, pretty noisy with uh, all the machines running. Um, unfortunately, there's no way at the moment to kind of quiet that down. There is something we can do in the future, part of immersive engineering. Actually, I don't know if it's available right now, but I don't have the materials around. But we're going to go ahead and automate this thing. First, we have the electric heater and the blast furnace. So the electric heater, we're going to go ahead and place it down facing this direction. And as you can see, we have our little area kind of kind of need to go ahead and break these because we're going to have to get under here eventually anyways. And we have our compressor right there. There is a few things we need to make, though. Right here, we have hopper ducts. This is how you make hopper ducts. Um, and hopper ducts are pretty useful. Uh, they're also used in the production of these guys. Right here. We need transfer pipes. So uh, this only makes one transfer pipe, unfortunately. I did not think that through. Uh, let me go ahead and get transfer pipes again. Okay. Yeah, it's glass, some hopper ducts. Uh, we only need a couple, I think. Um, let me go ahead and get all of this. And we have a bit of glass, and I need some more hopper ducks, I think. But other than that, we should be set to go. Alright, that'll get us three. Right? So I think all we're missing is the stone. But, uh... Yeah. I didn't catch that one. I thought... I'm, I'm so used to it giving you a stack of 64. Um, I'm so glad that it doesn't though in this pack because that does make it a little bit better but we can go ahead with this get a transfer node which we're going to need and with this we can get transfer filters which are also pretty neat okay so we have that and let's see our blast furnace should be ready to go um, we can place them like this but you need the orange pieces connecting. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can place them facing this direction and uh, they'd be connected just fine. But for demonstration purposes, let's go ahead and click while holding shift and turn this block around. Alright, so now these are blast furnaces. Um, pretty pretty weird things. Uh, but we need to get underneath them. And these don't actually get hooked up to power. They get hooked up to the heaters. And the heaters also need coils. So let's go ahead and take a look at coils while we're waiting. The uh, coils, which we've made before. And uh, they're going to be pretty easy to make since we do have a metal former now. Um, and we do already have six. So we can actually take a few of these. Why not just do 20 for now? Set this to extruding. And it's going to give us two per ingot now, which is pretty nice. So, this is not going to take too long to do. We have the iron to do it. So while we're working on everything else, getting things automated, we can go ahead and uh, start doing some things. So, this is cooking up some stone. I think that's the only thing we were lacking in here, what this department was. Um, stones. Stone slabs? Yes, probably. Alright, let's go back to transfer pipes. There we go. And four, let's see, we need one, two, three. And so one, two, three, four, five. I think we're gonna need five of them, to be honest. Uh, and what were we missing? We were missing these guys, so. And we can make quite a few of the hopper ducks because they're relatively simple to make. And all they require is a piece of wood. Bam. And we have hopper ducks. 
So, let's go ahead and see if we can't make one more. Perfect. That's all we need. Uh, we're actually going to need hopper ducks as well. So we'll keep those in mind. Okay, let's go ahead and grab ourselves some hoppers here that we have. And we, we actually need to make hopper filters. Right here, the uh, graduated hoppers, which get iron bars, which I'm sure I have some in some chest, but I'm not going to waste time. We are going to make some iron bars. I think I only need one, I do believe, at the moment. One graduated hopper. And I should be good. Okay, so we need to basically get rid of this side of the chest. Um... Because I... Oh, you know what? I think a chest... Right down here... Yeah, I, I kind of want a chest right here. I, so I can probably place it like this. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll place a chest. Can't actually place it right there there. So let's go ahead and break this one side. And we can go ahead and place it over here. And we can hopper duct this section over here to get it uh, hooked up for us. Bam. Okay, so we'll place a chest right here. That'll make things easier. Oh, I don't know if the hopper duct actually goes over there or not. I don't know if you can choose what direction. Let's see. Does it? Yes. Awesome. So now that's still going to go in there. So we're pretty good. Okay, on this one, what I want is a hopper taking items out of here, or pushing items into here. I want hoppers, if I can get some hoppers. Hoppers. Oops. Already forgetting how to use vanilla hoppers. Okay, we need to hook it into the chest. Bam. Like that. So all of the items will just basically flow into each hopper and then it will go into the chest. We need some kind of building block. And from there, we can take items out of this chest. And we should be able to hopper duct them in here but first I need to get under here kind of got to dig under okay so we want to get items up into here so we need a hopper under this chest um, I think I need a filtered hopper this one and then a hopper duct. Actually, let's hook the hopper to it. Just like this. There we go. And we should be able to set what we're going to make next over here. It'd be nice to have a shovel, but my shovel's not on me. Okay, so this should actually pull items into the compressor, but first we need to make the item that we need. And we need the universal cell, the universal fluid cell, and we need some glass. So, universal fluid cell right here. Let's go ahead and make a few of those. Um, the tin. I'm pretty sure I was making some tin plates just for this. And I made a new forge hammer as well because I know this one's going to break. Yeah. Alright, and that should get us quite a few. Alright, so that got us six. That should be enough to rotate in and out, I hope. I may need to actually make more of these. Um, but that'll just require me to get some more tin uh, rolling in here. Okay, so these are done. All we need is our coils, and I think we have the copper now to make coils. I think I need two coils a piece, if I'm not mistaken. Um, something like that. 
So six coils in all. How perfect is that? So six coils. There's two coils in each. So 20 currently transmitting the 20. And then this is going to go in here. And then we actually need one of them to kind of tell this down here that we're going to filter the cell. I guess it takes it. Yeah, it does. Oh. Takes it from us. And this is going to fill with air. And so we want a transfer node here. And we want these guys to have this on it and set this to single item. So it'll only give it one single item and uh, no item filter on it, no big deal. And then we'll take our transfer pipes and we're gonna have to route our transfer pipe. You know what, let's not put it there. That seems like a bad idea. I don't know if it can put stuff in there, but it could possibly. And we should have enough for it to send the air into it, right? Or perfect, we have air. Uh, the only thing we're gonna have to probably do is give this more. And it looks like it's working, so it's giving it air. The only thing it's lacking is heat at the moment, I think. Um, it's got enough energy. Ooh, we're getting low. Let's make sure these guys have enough fuel. Uh, but this does take a long time from what I've seen. And all we gotta do is throw some iron in here. And it should work, I think. This has no air at the moment. This does. This does. This, so this one's starting to work. Starting to heat up. Takes a long time. This one says it has currently no air in it. This has the most. This has none. I think we're going to need more of these universal cells, to be honest. And that is 10. And... The only tin we have is the crushed tin. So yeah, that's going to be a issue. But uh, basically everything from here on is a waiting game. Waiting for this thing to fully heat up. And yeah. So I guess it, the max it holds is 8. I'm guessing. Um, currently transmitting max heat. Okay, this is not getting enough power. Okay, it is getting power, just not enough. So let's shut you guys off. Well, actually, I need you running. It may be because we have too much copper cable. kind of fluctuating back and forth. Alright, that's off, that's off. It needs 20 HU max. Um, I'm not sure. It is heating. It's pretty slow. Uh, this guy does have enough, though. If we have to make more generators, we can. They're not that much... They're not that expensive. Not at the moment. But, uh, yeah, we are getting... We are getting somewhere. We have these guys fully automated. We just need some more tin. Um, turn into plates. And probably some more power. Uh, some power would probably do these guys wonders. Probably breaking them, putting them down here instead of where they're at would work as well. I don't know. This is just, uh, looks like it's going to be a long process. Is this still not getting, it's not getting what it needs. 
single item, single item, single stack, single item. Yeah, it's supposed to be single item. It's just not getting any at all. There it goes. So, if that one's max, it should continue to fill this one, but it's not. I love the noise, though. It does make a pretty cool noise. Guess we'll have to do it by hand. For now. But yeah, it's slowly filling up. Uh, we don't really have any upgrades at the moment. wonder why it went to that one first. I don't know. There's something going on with it, but... Uh, I would kind of like to wait and see for this to hit its max, so... But I'm probably not going to get a chance to even see it start working. But once this thing fully heats up, which does take a long time, uh, as long as it stays powered, it'll continue having heat, and this will continue working. But we got to make sure we keep an eye on our fuel. That is another thing. Um, the only thing I kind of want to get rolling, though, is tin. So we're gonna need more of these. Then we can just let this bad boy roll, and we can go mining and do any of that other stuff that we need to do. So yeah, this is almost done. I know I'm pushing time. I was wanting to keep under 20, but this episode really needs a bunch of explaining. Um, and, you know, things happen. It's the weekend, so uh, <laughs> I have a little bit more time to actually record, so it's uh, that also helps. Well, Man, it is right on the edge. I would love to see a tiny little bit of progression going on. But it looks like each one's a little bit worse than the other. This guy's flashing because he does not have enough power. Let's see. Um, I have a bit more iron. We have ten. I think I can make some more of those cells. Looks like I can make five, four more. That's okay. Better than none. Maybe if we take a coil out, it'll run better. I don't know if it needs two coils to stay heated. There it goes. Okay, so it's starting to cook the iron up. These will cook slowly. I'd like to do ten apiece. And uh, I'll probably just kind of keep an eye on it, wait overnight. Uh, kind of see what happens by tomorrow and uh, yeah We'll uh, we'll go from there. So if you guys are enjoying this episode enjoying this uh, this let's play of The age of engineering then please don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome and as always Thanks for watching